Welcome everyone and thank you for being here with me today. My name is Paolo Mazzeo and I represent the Italian company MAPROS, pioneer in the field of research and technology for the passive protection against fire, water and fungal proliferation. The goal of this lesson is to focus on the preservation of our cultural heritage. We are all perfectly aware that our cultural heritage made of paper, fabrics, canvas, wood, photographic film or other is very vulnerable and must be protected and kept in the best conditions for the future generations. Therefore, we must try our best to prevent any risk of deterioration and foresee any possible natural disaster. More and more often occurring now due to the climate change with extreme events striking at a faster pace. We will go through together and see which are the main enemies for cultural heritage, which are the solutions that technology is proposing to achieve this goal, which are the results that we can reach, where these solutions have been already carried out with successful achievements. The main enemies for cultural heritage and paper in particular are water, fire, relative humidity and fungal proliferation, active extinguishing systems. Let me share with you this inspiring quote by Paul Valéry. Book have the same enemies as people, fire, humidity, time and their own content. What a wisdom. Water is, of course, one of the main enemies, and in Italy we recently experienced a terrible disaster that put a huge spotlight on this kind of risk. The floods in Emilia-Romagna region, with enormous damages to people, buildings, farming, and, of course, book, manuscripts, and historical documents. Maybe not all of you know that the unconventional solution to save the oldest and more precious book was to freeze them at minus 25 degrees Celsius and keep them in the huge industrial freezers of the local company Orogel, an Italian producer of fresh frozen vegetables. Next step will be a process of sublimation. Ice water will be transformed into steam through high temperature to free the paper from humidity. Restoration will be the final step. Fire is the second enemy for cultural heritage. Maybe some of you heard about the famous fires who took place in different times of our history. The Great Library of Alexandria in Egypt in 48 before Christ, Turing Library in 1904, where the fire destroyed one third of the huge number of ancient manuscripts, the most precious and rare. Moscow, in 2015, the library of the Academy of Sciences was partially destroyed and 2,000 books went up in flames. Humidity is the third enemy for cultural heritage, as high humidity can cause binding warping, paper curling, pages sticking together, mold growth and insect activity. Active extinguishing systems represent a great risk, and I'm sure you are wondering why. They should be our allies in case of fire. But we need to be careful. They are false friends, because yes, they extinguish fire. But have you ever seen the damages on paper and objects? Usually, active extinguishing systems use water, gas, dry powder, or foam. So we can easily imagine the harm they may cause when they get in touch with documents and precious objects. This is the first kind of problems. Second kind are damages connected to malfunctioning, when gas or foam tanks explode, as you can see in these pictures. Look at this room after the explosion and the effects of the shock wave. Additionally, gas may harm library and archive operators. In Italy, in Arezzo State Archive, Unfortunately, three operators lost their lives, as during the night there was a malfunctioning of the fire alarm that activated the extinguishing systems and released the argon gas in the archive. When the operators opened the door the morning after, 
two minutes were enough for them to lose senses. Maybe at this point, it could be helpful to understand the difference between passive solution and active solution. It lays in the way they act. Active fire protection is about detecting, stopping and escaping fire. Therefore, requires actions to be taken. It includes fire alarm systems, emergency escaping lighting, fire suppression and sprinkle system, portable fire extinguishers, and many others. Whereas passive protection means containing the fire and preventing it from spreading further. They include fire doors, fire curtains, fire and smoke dampers, and fire resistant cabinets. Regarding passive protection solutions, let me present you the technological research carried out by the Italian company Macros which led to a series of passive solutions that prevent all the risk we have just talked about. The block fire technology was engineered to offer a completely passive solution for the protection against fire. It's the ideal way to sensibly reduce the risk of damaging the materials stored inside the archiving system. Against the risk of water that is much more likely to happen than fire, their research is going further for the technology called Hydrofire that at the moment has been patented and is undergoing a series of tests in dedicated laboratories. Research is proceeding also for the antibacterial system called Bacteria Block Fire that is conceived to protect the materials from mold and fungal proliferation. All these solutions help us to avoid the use of extinguishing systems and therefore help us to safeguard the integrity of the cultural heritage and the life of librarians and archivists. Now let's go deep in how these systems work. Blockfire is a sliding compactable archiving system, fireproof, firebreak, smoke and flame resistant. Every installation is customized according to the special needs of each client and to the dimensions of the space where it needs to be installed. The new block, block fire technology is replacing the traditional archiving cabinet with a completely new concept of protection, maximizing the archiving capacity, internal airflow for a better conservation, quick reaction in case of fire by sealing every unit, fire resistance for at least two hours at 1000 degrees Celsius. I have a short video that will show you how it works. At the beginning of this video, we will see a traditional archiving cabinet combined with the sprinkle system with gas tanks. This is what should be avoided.
As you saw, other than being a fire-resistant solution and an exceptional preserving element, this solution is a tailor-made one, adaptable in height and length to any dimensions, compatible with wooden ceilings. The internal components are customizable based on the kind of materials to be stored, books, documents, paintings, sculpture, carpets, and others. Any internal surface of the cabinet is fireproof and at the same time free of asbestos and dangerous chemical elements. The technology allows automatic remote control of the opening closing status of the cabinet, as you will see in a few minutes. As a last feature, this solution gives the manager of the archive the possibility to decide the different levels of security access for the operators based on the importance of the material stored, on the hierarchy, and on the risk analysis. The waterproof solution is called HydroFire and offers an additional protection against water, other than fire. With the help of the hermetically sealed barriers, water infiltration can be blocked. Special gasket positioned on the outer edges will additionally seal the cabinet against fire. The solution to control humidity can be added to the block fire system. It constantly analyzes temperature and relative humidity with the aim to control and forecast fungal proliferation. This task is processed throughout modular sensors integrated inside the cabinet. Here we can see the internal sensors and the control panel positioned outside the cabinet. The internal sensors collect and process the data through a dedicated soft software and transmit them remotely to any device, mobile phone, PC, tablet, enabling the operators to manage the reactivation of the perfect conditions through manual or automatic procedures. Implementing these technologies, we are reaching the following results. Cultural heritage protected, librarians, archivists, and operators safeguarded, storage space maximized, active extinguishing systems avoided. Paper, documents, and books are not the only materials BlockFire can protect. Let me mention a few projects in other fields. The National Museum of Stuttgart asked for an archive to protect their collection of butterflies. The Romanian Ministry of Defense had in project an archive to store classified documents. Cineteca of Bologna, a mass museum also in Bologna, are in need of a safe archiving system to preserve photographic films, while Cinecitta Studios in Rome required a project to safely store their collection of film stocks, as they need to be protected at low temperature, connecting their archive to the air conditioning system. Before I close this presentation, let me show you some of the projects successfully carried out using the block fire technology. A huge archive was installed at the University of Genoa in 2019. 8 kilometers of archive for the library of several faculties. Thanks to this installment, the books are preserved and at the same time available for students and researchers after many years of inaccessibility. In 2020, in the National Museum of Antarctica in Genoa, two kilometers of protected archive were installed to preserve documents and marine biological materials in formaldehyde. In 2021, in the Museum of an Historical Archive of Bordeaux in France, 277 meters of protected archive were installed. Advanced technology is allowing the remote control from Italy of temperature and relative humidity, constantly monitored by a team of experts to avoid any possible damage to documents. Max Planck Institute of History of Art in Florence can now store its 1,700 meters of archive, a huge collection of books, catalogs, and magazines. Thank you for your attention and do not hesitate to contact me for any question.